Hello and welcome to the second episode of Game Room. I'm your host Jacob, and let's not delay, let's get right into the news with number. As we said last week, Activision has now released their newest installment of the Call of Duty franchise, with Call of Duty World War II trailer and ranking in 13 million views and 880,000 likes. The hype for the upcoming game will either bring us back to the past of the very well-known game and installment to the Call of Duty franchise, World at War, or it will be another flop such as Infinite Warfare and Advanced Warfare. Now. On to the second report, and as we said, only time will tell how Call of Duty handles the situation. Injustice 2 brings back the clown, Prince of Crime. Released a trailer three days ago for an upcoming character. If you have not seen it already, Joker was released in the character reveal. And with a new 3D model that we've never seen before in a DC game, and reprising voice actor for the Joker, Richard Epcar, comes back for the second installment of the Injustice franchise, which seems like it's going to have a lot of potential coming towards it, with all of the editing you can do towards the characters, and all of the variety of characters and moves you will have in this. Now, on to the third and final news report for this week. Street Fighter, Tekken 7, Super Smash Bros. The pros of all three of these games will be at the fighting, will be fighting for the win for the $20,000 prize at Battle Arena Melbourne 9. This event will be at the global premiere for the Capcom Pro Tour. I apologize for that stop. The uh, camera fell and our script fell out. Will be aired via live stream. So make sure to tune into the premiere of that. We hope you enjoyed the second episode of Game Room. I'm your host, Jacob, and we hope you come back for the next episode of Game Room. See you next week, guys.